so it's just a little improvisation. None of that is planned. None of it is set. None of it is fixed. It's not choreography. It's feeling. It's emotion. It's ideas. It's inspiration. You can't sit at home and plan all of this out. It's impossible. But you can feel it. And if you practice, you practice your technique for hours a day. If you read and you study the history, or you listen to music, all of these things will improve your dancing, no matter what style of dance you do. You have to be a great student of that style. And you have to go deep into the history of that style. You have to try to understand the root of where your style comes from. Tap dance comes from African dance. It has influences from everywhere, obviously. We have influences from Ireland, from Spain, from India, from South America. We don't limit our inspiration, but we know where we come from. And because we know that, we're able to innovate and take our style into the future and then have a collaboration with another style, such as Kata, or flamenco, or African dance. So it's all about the feeling. It's all about the intention. And it's all about having fun, because <laughs> I, I really enjoy dancing. And you have to love it if you really want to pursue it as something you want to do in your life. <laughs> because it requires a lot of sacrifice. A lot of times you might want to go out and hang out with your friends. You got to practice. You know? Maybe you might have a boyfriend or girlfriend that you want to spend time with. You got to practice. You have to put your priorities in order. And as students, you all know this because you have to study first, then you get the job, then you get the family. But you have to do everything in its rightful order. And dance is the same thing. You cannot cut corners. There is no shortcut to this position. I dance every single day of my life and I've sacrificed a lot to get here. But because I've done this, I have great benefits. I'm getting to travel the world. I'm getting to meet young people who are studying business in India. These are great experiences that are making me a better artist. And because of it, I use all of this inspiration for my dance. So it's a cycle. So why don't we all try a little bit of this? Step, step, shuffle. All right, one more time. One, two, three, four.
Yeah, one more time. So this is actually the first step. There's four steps, but right now we'll just do this. <laughs> one, two, one, two, three. Indian dance, classical Indian culture. I had no idea. 